Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Can I have a quick plus one in the chat that I am visible as well as equally audible? Then we would start right away. Okay. We would wait for just one or two minutes, then we would start. Okay, thank, thanks a lot, Ketan. Hey Yaman Verma, hey Kunal Haldia. Okay, so let's start with today's problem of yesterday's problem of the day that is overlapping intervals. Okay, so this question uh, came in Amazon, Google, and two more companies. Okay, hello. Okay, so this, pro this is a medium level problem with a success percentage of 79%. Okay, so let us understand this. So, we are given a collection of intervals. The task is to merge all the overlapping intervals. What do you mean by giving a collection of intervals? Given a collection of intervals means that you can take it as a start and end. Okay, suppose it is 4 and 6. You would be given intervals like this 4 and 6 and then 1 and 2 then 3 and 4. Okay. It means that you the intervals are from 4 to 6. First one, second one is 1 to 2 and 3 to 4. This is how. So let us draw the test case and let's try to solve it. Okay. So for solving this test case, there are 1, 3, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So till 10. So let's uh, draw an array of size 10. Okay. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, this is it. So, now let's mark the indexes. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay. So, the first interval would be from 1 to 3, okay. So, let's mark the first interval 1 to 3, okay. Then 2 to 4, 2 to 4, okay. And then 6 to 8, 6 to 8, okay. And then 9 to 10, 9 to 10, okay. And we would, we would merge the overlapping intervals, okay. Now, we can see that these two are overlapping, these two are overlapping at which which point, at this point and this point, okay. So, we would just mark 1 and 4, okay. 1 and 4, okay, can be this, okay. Then, we can say this is not overlapping 6, 7 and 8. So, just we would write 6 and 8, okay. Then, again 9 and 10 because it is also individual, okay. So, 9 and 10. Okay, so just by drawing out this test case, if you just draw out the test case and try to solve it using pen and paper, you would see that you are very near to the answer, very, very, very near, okay. How I am telling you, you can see if it is not intersecting at any point, then this is individual and we would report it. If, if, if it is intersecting, okay. So now let us take all the cases of intersecting. We can see this is an intersection, okay. If this is the case, then we would report this and we would report this. Or else, what is the intersection here? We can see 
that it might be the intersection like this okay it might be the intersection like this then we would again report this and we would report this okay and there are no more cases of intersection and the other make case of intersection can be this okay but this is kind of very similar to this only so we won't be writing it okay so these are just the two cases of intersection so we can see that if we take the first starting point okay if we first take the starting point okay and if we don't write the ending point and we see that what is the start point of the next one if it is a start what is the start point of the next one if the start point of the next one is before the end point of the next one okay then we would just report the start point of the first one and the end point of the second one okay and here we can see the start point is colliding and the end point is also colliding so we would just report this okay मैं क्या बोलना चाह रहा हूं ना कि यहां पर सिर्फ दो केसेस हो सकते हैं इंटरसेक्शन के आइदर एक केस ऐसे होगा ऐसे 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 जैसे भी होगा सो so, एक केस ऐसे हुआ सो so, अगर ये केस ऐसे हुआ सो दिस वी वुड रिपोर्ट दिस फर्स्ट द स्टार्ट पॉइंट जहां पर शुरुआत हुई है फिर द इंटरसेक्शन पार्ट ओके इंटरसेक्शन पार्ट कब होगा व्हेन इट वुड इंटरसेक्ट जब इसका स्टार्ट टाइम इसके एंड टाइम से पहले होगा तभी वो इंटरसेक्ट करेगा ओके दिस इज व्हाट एंड इट शुड बी आइदर इक्वल यहां से यहां हो जाए तो ये भी तो ओवरलैपिंग हो गया ना सो दिस इज आल्सो एंड द नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज दैट ये पूरा इसके ऊपर चढ़ा हुआ है एम आई क्लियर विद दिस आइडिया और नॉट ओके सो वी कैन सी दैट द स्टार्ट टाइम इज एब्सोल्युटली मोर इंपॉर्टेंट ओके सो स्टार्ट टाइम इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इज हज हायर प्रायोरिटी ओके what is the next thing that we need to do okay the next thing that we need to do is this would also have a end time this would also have a end time okay this would also the both would have an end time so which end time we would consider this end time or this end time this or this so we can see that every time if we just consider the maximum end time we would give our answer okay main fir se batata hu suppose this is an this is a line this is a line okay this end point is here and this end point is here suppose it is overlapping so we can see that the end point which is have suppose we know it is overlapping so the end point which is having a value larger would be the end point of the segment okay the maximum this side end point so this side end point would also always have a value greater okay can i have a quick plus one from the gautam ala kunal haldia and ketan and aman and all okay there are 10 live viewers at the moment so can i please expect a plus one from everyone else okay talking about gautam ala hey hi okay so now what is the basic idea what we would do is we would simply see that we start time is more important so we would sort everything on the basis of start timing and we can see that yeah this start time would be less and this start time would be more okay so we just need to consider the start time okay so we would save somewhere start time so we would save x is equals to suppose it is the start time okay and then y is equals to the end time okay and then we would consider the next segment if the start time of the next segment is is suppose this is x this is y and this is colliding so we can see that this would be a and b suppose this is a and b so we can see this a would be less than y so y if okay if a is less than equal to y then we would just update just the end point that is this would be updated okay else what we would simply do it we would know that this is a disconnected thing so we would just insert it this won't overlap so we would just insert it okay again for the second condition let me draw out the test case and it would be more clear okay suppose we have x and we have y and we have again a and we have b so now x and y would be same so now if a is greater than 
x okay if a is greater than y sorry end point okay then we would just insert it in, okay then we would just insert it okay thanks a lot everyone okay so good to go so let us move to the implementation now the implementation is absolutely simple as i told what we would do is we would sort the array and we would check it okay we would check it if it is less than or equal to or not okay just so first let us copy the test case and we would see how we are solving it okay so let me copy out the test cases and we would do the dry run okay simultaneously let me draw out the test case and add to the current page and then we would add to the last page okay so let's draw the test case okay so yeah so the thing is that first we are sorting the vector okay the default vector would sort according to the start time okay and it is given that this is the start time this is the end time okay so let us sort this array on the basis of start time so we can say this is already sorted but we would again write it 1 3 2 4 6 8 okay and then 9 10 absolutely clear okay now we would make a vector of answer to store the answer now we would initialize the end with 0 and end with v dash size minus 1 and we would initialize the first one okay so for now st is equals to 1 and et is equals to 3 the first value this and this okay good simple then we would start from the second value so we would just start seeing from the second value itself now if the this is the start so if the start as i told if the start i told saved in S, sf and ef so if the start time is less than the end time we would just what we would do we would just remove this and we would update it to 4 and we do nothing okay we would do nothing okay so now we would again iterate so what we are doing we are just using max of both the okay max for both of good is 4 for now st and ef value is 1 and 4 okay now the third one in the next iteration so 6 and 8 is 6 is 6 less than et or not no 6 is more than 4 so first we would insert this first we would insert this so we have inserted 1 and 4 to our answer and the next one we would again initialize okay st okay as 6 and 8 okay because we got a new endpoint so we have first pushed it and then we have initialized a new one okay so now again we would see the next one again we are seeing that this 9 is starting after this segment so again we would be inserting this that is 6 and 8 and then we would be using st is equals to 9 and 10 now okay and at the end this would be over because we have no elements left okay no elements is left now we would again insert this okay whatever is left now so 9 and 10 9 and 10 okay so this is the dry run of this okay so if it is greater we would simply push back and initialize with a new one if it is not the greater we would just in uh, we would just update the end point okay we won't insert it okay am i clear with this or not i would be i would be starting a timer of one minute if you have any doubt you can ask me else we would conclude this session as of now okay so let's start the timer for one minute and we would see okay just if this is clear just let me know okay i don't do it but please like and comment okay okay now talking about the doubt one yeah this is it so think the things are like this 
that uh, that YouTube recommends the video which is having higher number of likes and comments. Okay, so and it takes a lot of effort. So just uh, just if you appreciate it or either give some positive feedback or some negative feedback too, then I would just improve. Okay, so please repeat, bhai. Okay, yeah, sure, I would be repeating it. Okay, so the idea is absolutely very simple. Okay. The idea is uh, we, should you need the repetition of the code one or you need the repetition of the idea? Can you be clear, Kunal? The idea is okay. The idea is clear, I think, because the thing is that you told in the chat, you told in the chat that gave a plus one when the idea was discussed. So let us okay. So what we are normally doing here is we are first sorting the vector. Okay, by default the vector would be sorted according to the first value. Here the first value was the start time, which was our desired thing. Okay, so we we then sorted. Hey Jay, okay, hey Jay, okay, okay. Then we have the vector of answer. Then we would be initializing the end point as minus one, and then. What we are doing is we are giving the size of the vector, okay, okay. We would be sorting the vector, okay. By the way, Jay is my senior, <laughs> okay. So talking about this, Jay, bhaiya, yeah, bubble or selection, okay. This by default does the most optimal sort by itself, okay. We don't need to implement that, okay. So. Uh, vector of answers, and then we would just initialize with minus one, and then do n, and then start time and end time. We initialize with one to the less than n. Okay, so then we push back if it is greater. Suppose this is it. Okay, suppose if this is greater. Okay, suppose this is the case. There might be only two cases that it is either overlapping the things or it is just discontinued. If it is discontinued, then you can see suppose a and b. And then x and y, then this x would be greater than b. Okay, so if that x is greater than b, this is the condition. We would be just be pushing this. Okay, and then we would be starting off with this again. Okay, this is what we are pushing it, and again starting off with this by assigning it, and then we do the or else we just do the update the end point. Okay, so this was it. Can I have a quick plus one after that? We would conclude. I would be waiting for the next one minute. If I don't get any doubts and all, I would be turning this session off. Okay. Okay, Jay, bhai. Yeah. You teach really well. Okay. Thanks a lot, Jay Bhaiya. Okay. Thanks a lot, Konal. Okay. So I see no doubts coming. So that is it. Thank you and have a nice day. Okay. If you have any, if you face any doubts, okay, you can text me on LinkedIn. My username is Siddharth Hazra, or you can just comment in the video. Okay. If I don't see the comment, you can ask me on LinkedIn. Okay. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day.